Hey, I'm Chad Killian with BeverageProfessor.com, the website designed to help you learn more about the many types of alcoholic beverages available. We're shooting today at Vino Cellars in Springfield, Missouri. If you live in the area or ever in Springfield, Missouri, I hope you'll stop by and check out Vino Cellars and say hi to my good friend, Matt. Today, I want to tell you about Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is a red grape varietal and is considered the classic grape of Burgundy, France. However, it is grown in all areas around the world. Pinot Noir tends to be a lighter in color and somewhat less tannic than most other red wines. Less tannic means less dry, but not sweet. I like to guide people who want to start experimenting with red wine into Pinot Noir due to its lighter tanning. If a person is a sweet wine drinker, they're probably still going to think that Pinot Noir is too dry or bitter. Some of the aromas and flavor characteristics of Pinot Noir are raspberry, cherry, and strawberry. Some styles may have more of an earthy profile, such as forest floor, barnyard, mushroom, or even leather. If you're new to wine, some of these may not sound too appealing to you, but don't let these crazy terms keep you away from trying Pinot Noir. One thing about the wine world is we use some crazy words to describe our wine. As I said earlier, Pinot Noir is grown in areas all around the world. And I'm gonna give you a few of the more popular areas uh, Pinot is produced. In the United States, Oregon and California are the two areas that stand out. In Oregon, the main area to look for is the Willamette Valley. From uh, my experience, these wines of Oregon seem to be made in a more Burgundian style. They're lighter uh, in color and tend to have more earthy characteristics, uh, like I mentioned earlier. In California, the areas of Carneros, Santa Barbara, Russian River Valley, Sonoma Coast, Monterey, and Santa Lucia Highlands are good Pinot Noir growing regions. Many of the California wines tend to have that more fruit-driven character of cherry, raspberry, and strawberry that I mentioned. In France, Burgundy is the region, mainly the Côte d'Or, which consists of the Côte de Nuit and Côte de Beaune. Most French wine labels do not list grape varietals, so you tend to have to learn the regions of France and the varietals that dominate those regions to know what's in the bottle. Pinot Noir from Burgundy tend to be more mineral driven uh, with high acidity and they usually have more earthy characteristics. A couple of other um, regions you may check out for Pinot Noir is New Zealand, primarily the area of uh, Martinborough and, and uh, Central Otago, and Germany, where it is called Spätburgunder and is the most widely planted red grape varietal in Germany. Most red wines are best served at just less than room temperature between 55, 65 degrees. Uh, because Pinot Noir is more delicate, acidic, and lower tannin uh, than most other red wines, it shows best at temperatures between 55 and 60 degrees. When it comes to food, I think Pinot Noir is a diverse food wine. It pairs well with many items. I personally like it with seafood like ahi tuna, salmon. Also try it with chicken, turkey, duck, pork, and even beef. Try it with some of your favorite foods and see what you think. Uh, Pinot Noir is also one of the primary grape varietals used to produce French champagne and other sparkling wines around the world. But we'll go into that in more detail in other videos. I hope you've learned something about Pinot Noir in this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you will keep checking us out at BeverageProfessor.com.